Mamaku. Okay, let me just move my seatbelt really quick. Okay. All right. This is going to be a story story of getting my my boob fixed and all that good stuff. Um thanks everyone for watching my channel. Um this is going to be a, a really raw, rough take, my first video, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it raw. So anyways, I'm on um, my way to Visalia. By the way, my name is Alize, but you guys can call me Aku, Mama Aku, 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 Anyways, um, so I'm on my way. I'm going through the mountains right now on 198. It's the road that I always take to go to Visalia. That's where I'm from originally. Um, and I'm coming from Salinas. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to tell you guys what's going on. Um, I'm going to go get my stitches taken out right now. I'm looking really rough. Like, the audio is probably real shitty right now. But, you know what? We're going we're gonna to pull it together and we're going to get through this. So, it's really, really hot right now. I'm probably going to be sweating in a minute. Good thing I put deodorant on because I never, never do. And you guys are on my left side. Oh my god, my boob is coming out. Alright. So, I'm on my way to my doctor. Um, he's going to get my stitches. He's going to take my stitches out. Um, so, I want to talk about breast augmentation in my experience getting my chest done. So, um, back in 2014, um, I decided spontaneously that I was going to go get my chest done. And this wasn't something that I had ever really planned on doing my whole life. Um, I just remember at that point in time, I had just paid my car off and I had just got all this money. And every, every year when I would uh, file for my taxes, I would always pay and give everything to my car. So I paid my car off pretty, pretty fast, you know? So I remember um, getting all this money at one point. I was like, you know what, what can I do? What can I do? I want to do something for myself. I want to pay for something and I want something, I want to get something that's really expensive that I own, you know? And um, I remember for some reason I was in the same town as a plastic surgeon I knew from my family that the, all the girls have pretty much went there and they've had amazing experiences and I just got that ding in my head and I was like I want to get my boobs done so I made the uh, I made the consultation I went talked to my doctor my doctor was amazing um, and within like a week I got my chest done and it was the experience of getting my chest done and like going under was kind of nerve-wracking like the day of the surgery I wasn't really nervous I kind of just wanted to get it over and done with because I never really planned on doing it so I was like man I have this spontaneous decision I'm gonna go through it as quick as I can before I change my mind so that's what I did and I got it done like within a week um, choosing my size at that time um, he told me that to go to Victoria's Secret, go pick out a bra that I wanted to pretty much fill and bring it in and see what we can do. So I did that. Um, I'm not going to talk about my size because it really doesn't matter, but it was a size that I was really comfortable with. And he said, you know, the size is going to look good on you and good for your body and all that stuff. Um, so that's, that's what I did. And then I remember right after I got out of surgery my first time because I have gotten them done two and a half times now and I'll get into that in a minute but I got out of surgery my mother took care of me um and I remember it just felt it wasn't necessarily like and you know and everyone's different but the way that I felt I was like you know what it's not really crazy painful I just felt like someone was kind of sitting on my chest and it was super super tight because you're putting like a foreign object in your body it's never gonna feel completely natural you know um, now because I've had them for a while now and I've gotten them done like two and a half times it's I, I mean it's I'm so used to them it's, it nothing about really bothers me at all um, but like I was saying I got out of surgery I was super super sore um, the tightness because my chest was so so small was so small it was like I was kind of like a little boy 
like honestly I was like a little boy and um, I was pretty cool with my chest I wouldn't wear bras when I would go hiking I wouldn't wear anything I was like a little boy I was very 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 small so um, he my incision he went under um, like on the crease of the bottom of my breast where it would have been if I had boobs but he went through there because I really didn't have anything to work with because I think he could have went through like the like the side of my nipple or something like that but he said because I didn't really have anything to work with like with my boob um I he went through that place and I have no problem with it the the incision is super super small it's really really it's not visible it's pretty good you know I can't even see it now so I got out of surgery all that good stuff I was sore um, I was taking my medication it did um, when you first get them done that's probably gonna be the worst um, time you ever get them done because they do recommend getting them done um, every like 10 years to be safe you know but you don't have to get them done it's just like a recommendation you know to be on the safe side so um oh shoot hold on let me put the ac on because we ain't trying to we ain't trying to be sweating up in here bro my armpits are going through it right now okay so yeah i was super super sore i i was super super sore i remember i couldn't really lift my arms that good because i was just so sore holding my my phone my iphone my skinny little phone was too much i couldn't open the door i couldn't do anything i had to have someone you know pick me up when i had to get up to use the restroom pull my pants down um help me take a shower for the first few weeks and then after that i started feeling like i could move my arms i could you know open the door very carefully but this is this is your first first time so it's gonna be rough it's not gonna necessarily be painful it's just gonna be really uncomfortable and and all that stuff it believe me if you're a chick you can get through it you can get through it it's not like the end of the world it's not painful you're not gonna be crying it's it's really well worth it for me it was so anyways after a few years go by a few years go by and it happened to actually be this year I got them done in 2014 it's 2018 right now so back in January 2018 right now back in January I woke up and I remember I was at home and my boobs are still pretty brand new because I've only had them for a few years right so I woke up I remember I had to go pick up my daughter around 9 so I woke up got my cup of coffee I started cleaning up a little bit picking up toys um, doing the dishes throwing a you know a thing of laundry in the washing machine and then I noticed all right I gotta go I have to go um, go pick up my daughter I take off my shirt and I'm changing right in front of my closet and my closet is all the the closet sliding door things it's all mirrors it's a huge mirror so I take off my shirt and I barely and I didn't have a bra on I took off my big t-shirt and I looked to my right in the mirror I just glanced over I glanced over and I remember looking like I, my I like flipped my head back, almost broke my neck, because I noticed that my left breast, the shape was all the way down. And now I, I literally I couldn't cry because I was so scared and in shock. But I just remember thinking, no way, dude, no way. These are pretty brand new. This is like I I remember looking at myself with like a horror stricken like I kept thinking no way and I kept turning to the sides looking at it my left breast had burst um, at night and it was like half the size of my right breast and I was just like and then afterwards after I was putting on my everything I was crying 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 the only one that I knew that I should call right away was my grandma. I called my grandma, she told me, and it was a Sunday. It was like a Saturday or Sunday. And I remember, I called the seat where my um, plastic surgeon is, the one who did my chest, 
I um he has like an emergency line so if you had just had surgery or if you have a question and the office isn't open you can call like the emergency line so that's what I did I called the emergency emergency line and I told her told her what had happened I have saline and that's exactly what she had asked for she goes do you have silicone or saline and I go I have saline and I was like crying I was like what do I do am I okay what do I do and she was like calm down this is actually a very common thing that happens. She was like, don't worry. You have saline, it's gonna just absorb in your body, you're gonna be okay. Um, she was like, call first thing Monday morning. She was like, don't do anything, you know, anything rough, just don't pick up anything too heavy. Call Monday morning and set up an appointment and they'll take care of you, okay? And she go, and I go, okay, okay. So I had to like wait a day or two and I was just like, oh my God, I was so miserable. I was thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? I was stuffing my bra with like two pairs of socks so I looked somewhat decent. I had to, I had a server, I was a server, I was a waitress at that time and I remember going to work not wanting to tell anyone that one of my breasts was almost gone and I remember my arm was sore my chest was sore on that on my left side no one knew what was going on but I was like in a glum mood because I'm not usually when I go to work or I'm in a bad mood I don't really I'm usually just kind of like not as chatty and not as happy but I don't really give off this bitchy effect so everyone kind of thought I was just kind of having an off day so I went to work and it was horrible and then I get out I call my doctor and he says okay you need to come in as soon as you can because if you have a you're like okay I'm gonna like say it back if you have a bag in there that had bursted and you um, is it bursted burst ew. Um, ew. Um, and he was like you can't let it sit in there because it could cause um, some scarring it could get this it could get that you don't want to have just a bag in your body you know an empty bag so come in as soon as you can I went in like I think like two days later I went in there they looked at it and he goes okay so we're gonna you had a your back burst he was like telling me he's like it's completely normal there's sometimes I I um, he was like sometimes I do I do a breast augmentation on a woman and the next day the back bursts sometimes that just happens sometimes you know your everyone's body is completely different he's like so don't think there's you did anything wrong they asked me if I got into a car accident they asked me if I got into or I did something or I said no I just woke up and it was I just woke up and it was gone and um, it was like a horror story it was like it was like one of my eyeballs being gone I was like oh oh my god so I I was totally freaking out I was shaking and I was just like what do I do what do I do because this is not something that you prepare for when I tell you guys this just to if you're thinking about getting plastic surgery if you're thinking about getting your boobs done your butt done um, your teeth done your anything done on your body you have to realize that if something happens to something foreign in your body that you paid for you have to be financially and emotionally and mentally ready for that thing to mess up even naturally like it did for me this just happened to me I didn't do anything so I was not financially ready at the time I was not emotionally ready he said, you have to come up with at least half of what you paid for me to do that. We're going to give you a big discount because your bag has a warranty. So we're going to give you, we're going to, um, what are they doing? They're like doing construction on the road. And we're going to give you like half off your surgery. So, and I go, and I'm thinking, okay, okay. So I did what I had to do. I, I it was an emergency. And he goes, and if you wait if you wait and you decide to no I'm not I'm gonna wait for a few months to he's like I you know you can cause a lot of scarring as, as you know if you wait a long time it can cause scarring it can get you and give you an infection he's like it's almost like it's something that you have to do like it's just you knew what you were getting yourself into when you get something like this done you have to be prepared for it so I walked out of there like oh my god I remember walking out of walking out of there I was like my life's over how am I gonna 
pay for this. I was like, ha and then the, and oh, and this is what happened. He goes, we're going to schedule you um, almost at the end of the month. He's like, because I'm really, really booked right now. That's the only and the earliest that I can get you in. So I was like, just so sad. I was just so sad that I had to wait and I had to go to work the whole time. The whole time knowing that this was happening. Um, I didn't want to tell anyone. I was so embarrassed. I felt like a freaking idiot, like a weirdo. I was just so insecure about everything. I was just so embarrassed and I didn't even want to tell anyone. Like, I didn't even want to say anything. I was just so like, oh, I'm so sad. And um, I ended up getting help. Um, and I was able to pay. And I told my doctor, I was like, look, if I'm going to go in under and I'm going to risk my life for one boob, I'm getting both of them done again. And I'm going to walk out with a brand new chest. And I mean, it only makes sense, right? And he told me, he was like, that makes sense to me. He's like, if it works for you, it works for me. And I was like, okay, great. So I went in there. I went to my surgery appointment. Everything went smooth. Um, I got them done again and when I got out um, I noticed that I wasn't as sore as the first time within like a week I was like not even a week actually within a few days I was like walking around putting my jacket on and I was a little sore and they were still sitting up pretty high and I was just I was already used to it you know I already knew what to do but I was just so happy that the soreness and all of like the recovery I knew that it wasn't it wasn't gonna be so long it wasn't gonna be painful I was just like a little uncomfortable but you know it was just like, I was just so happy that, oh, I got them done again. Like, fresh start, nothing's gonna happen. I think a month goes by, and I go for I go for a few checkups right after surgery. That's just mandatory. You have to go like within a week or two. And I, I tell him, there's something with my left one still that's, um, it looks a little different. And he goes, yeah, it does. It does look a little different. And this has nothing to do with my doctor. He goes, listen, I'm going to give you two months so you can really heal. But what I'm thinking is when you had that bag sitting in your, sitting where your, your, your implant was, and it was just sitting and sitting and sitting, he's like, it may have caused um, some scar tissue. He's like, remember I told you about scar tissue? Well, because we waited a month, he's like, you're going to... Um, let's just wait let me see how it heals I waited the two months I waited the two months and I noticed right away I asked I asked my grandma I asked my aunt um, I would show my friend and um, I go look you guys probably can't tell but I could tell I know my body and I know how my chest should look it should look like my right one no one really noticed at all until I went back to the doctor and um, I went back to the doctor after the two months and I walked in he comes and looks at me and he goes we're gonna have to redo that boob again he goes because he's looking at it and he goes because of the fact that you have a lot of scar tissue I'm gonna have to pretty much stitch the inside of your implant in place because when you had that bag it was moving around and and I remember it was moving around and it was hurting and it was sitting too low. He's like, I'm going to have to put, stick it in place. So, and he's like, and I'm going to let you know that it's going to be a little more painful this time because I'm going to have to stitch you in the inside and on the outside. And honestly, I was just like, dude, do what you got to do. And he was like, of course I'm not. He's like, I'm not going to charge you anything. He's like, I'm going to make sure that, you know, you're, you're under my care. I'm, he's like, I'm the, um, I'm the sculptor. He's like, I'm going to give you what you wanted, but because your body has scarring, don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. And I was like, oh, thank you. He was, he's just such a great, great plastic surgeon because I walked out of there thinking, fuck, man, I'm going to have to get surgery. And I just had surgery like two months ago. It was just really, really hard on me. No one knew what was going on until I started talking about this surgery, this last surgery. So this is going to be my second, no, third, no, second and a half. <laughs> this is going to be my third surgery, but for one. 
so I went in again they did the surgery I think it took a little longer because he was like doing extra stuff on my left breast and um, and I didn't want to talk about this because I didn't want to talk about me having breast augmentation in the beginning at all because I didn't want to be labeled as the girl that got her boobs done the girl that's showing off her boobs I don't ever really show off my chest like you know some girls may because you know you get a new brand new chest and I can understand how girls get excited they feel sexy you know they want to you know all sorts of things but I've never been the one to like kind of show off my chest the way what you doing what you doing bro anyways so I just didn't want to be known as the girl that got her boobs done so after everything was going on and I was like you know what I'm just gonna start talking about it I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a video about it we're gonna talk about it because you know these things happen they happen all the time and I just afterwards when I had gotten my chest done for the third time I guess well for one and I was healing up and I looked at myself and I was like yep he fixed me I go he fixed me hallelujah and everything was healing perfectly. Everything he said that happened, happened. Everything he said he did, he did. It looked great. Everything looked great. So I'm actually on my way to get my stitches taken out. He's gonna look at me. I already know he's gonna be like, oh, you're healing really nice. Everything looks good, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was just wanting to talk about this because it happens. I don't want people to freak out when something like this happens. Um, you know and they get their and I and I don't want people to think oh I'm gonna get my chest done and everything is gonna be perfect oh you know all my bills are gonna be paid on time my husband's gonna be faithful to me all the guys are gonna like me oh I'm gonna get this job if you're wanting to get your chest done for all those reasons you need to reevaluate why you're even getting your chest done or thinking of any type of plastic surgery because it honestly does come from inside. It does come from inside. You have to be okay with your self in here to be okay with everything out here because it's just not gonna work. I don't I wouldn't want you guys to get your chest done thinking, oh everything's gonna be amazing because you have just as many problems and insecurities as when you did when you had a small chest. I still, now I can't fit into, I, you know, you think, oh, I'm gonna have a chest, I'm gonna be able to wear what I want. So not true. Now if I wear what I had when I, or what I wanted when I didn't have boobs, um, now I look like a slut. Now I look like way too skimpy. Now I look like I'm doing too much. Like, you know, it's just like, you can never get it right. But I, I'm honestly, I don't regret ever getting my chest done. Um, I loved my small boobs and now I have a bigger chest. Not crazy big, but I'm just saying, I just have a chest now. It's just the same, it's the same. I, I, I love my chest, I love my small boobs, but honestly, um, I kind of realized afterwards when I got my chest and I kind of went through this depression because I was like, you know what? Am I like conforming to society? Am I, are people gonna look at me like, oh my God, she got her boobs and now, now she probably thinks she's a shit. You know, I was thinking about all of these things like, oh my God. And now, and after I was like trying to hide my boobs, like I wasn't trying to like push them out. I wasn't trying to like wear something real sexy. I was kind of just trying to be as normal as I could, kind of hiding my boobs away. And, and I just, I know I didn't get them done for the wrong reasons, but I can see how girls can get the wrong interpretation on having a chest and getting work done with anything. I mean, it's not, if you're going to be walking around and be like, I'm going to be known for the girl that has, you know, a nice boobs, girl, you're going to get really, 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 really disappointed because no one's going to really look at you like anything. If you don't walk around confident already with the way that you are, and you want to act like if you slap on some boobs and you slap on, slap on some ass and some lip and everything, everyone's going to treat you like you're the shit. It's not that way. It is not that way. And I would hate for girls to get the wrong idea of getting, you know, your chest done. If you feel like you want to get your chest done for, you know, for yourself, then get it for yourself. If you want to get your nose done because, you know, you don't like that big bitch, then fucking get it done. Get it done. But... 
what I'm gonna say is I don't regret on getting my chest done um, if anybody has questions about it you guys can hit me up on my Instagram um, mama Aku. you can email me I'm gonna put I mean I'm gonna put all my information down but you guys can totally message me and leave me comments on you know on my doctor on the price I'll tell you guys everything I'm not <laughs> it's not that serious um, but yeah, that's my story of getting my boobs done. Um, I'm, I hope my stitches come out. I, I hope they come out really clean because they've been bothering me. I haven't been wearing my waist trainer and, you know, certain bras because, you know, you have to wear a sports bra your first, like, month after surgery, sometimes a little longer because, you know, it depends on how big you kind of go, too. Um, but oh and another thing don't think just because you get your chest done or you get your boobs done Don't think that you cannot wear a bra anymore Gravity will always take your shit away So what I do is I wear a bra all the time when I go to sleep or I'll wear like a tight sports bra when I go to sleep I'll wear a bra with everything today I'm not gonna wear a bra because I'm gonna go see my doctor so he's just gonna look at them um, You can go days without wearing a bra, but what I'm saying is hold your shit together just because you get a boob job doesn't mean that they're gonna be all perky and everything. You'll probably be perky, what, the first year, and then after you're just gonna have these things sagging on you. Gravity will always take your shit, okay? So, we're not X-Men over here, all right? Ain't shit, ain't shit, we can't, we can, it's gonna take it all, it's gonna take it all. We can't transform to shit. We ain't gonna stay young forever, so try to take care of yourself as long as you can. But anyways, I'm on my way there. I hope, I wanna ask if I can record like them taking them out cause I don't, I don't give up. No, but maybe they do. So, all right, thanks you guys for listening to my story. You guys could uh, subscribe, hit me up. I don't care. Um, yeah, thanks for all the love you guys, seriously. All the girls that follow me on my Instagram, all the girls that show me love every single day. You guys are the shit. You guys are gonna be with me every step of the way. Like, don't even trip. Ain't none of you bitches gonna be left behind. All right, so um, that's it for today, you guys. Um, I'm gonna see. I'll probably add a few more videos to this um, if they let me. So, yeah, mamaku. See you guys later.